just before the video starts make sure you go and check out my website ystech.org this is the place where you're going to be finding the latest news and everything great in technology from reviews to tutorials and much more so make sure you go check it out in the description ystech.org i'll see you there Hey guys, it is Wise from Wise Tech here, and today we're going to be looking at a no compromises 1080p ultra and 1440p medium computer. Now, this computer can be used for streaming and definitely for gaming, and it can also be used for other tasks like video editing and uh, large projects with programming. So, I also highly recommend you guys to go check out the link in the description for my website, and you can guys can check out the best gaming PC build for April. Uh, 2020 I've got a whole TLD out there so you guys don't have to watch the whole video and it's got my recommendations for a budget computer and uh, yeah well this computer is going to be no compromises but it's not silly to the point where I, I whacked in a 1080 Ti or anything like that it's it's quite a, a sensible build you could say <laughs> so let's get on to the build so first of all we've got the build parts and I'm just going to explicitly state it now it is $1,800 so if you're not into that price range click off this video and go check the other one out um, this is a very expensive computer and it is pretty much no compromise with some of the best parts you can pick I guess um, but not the highest of high range I, th I think these are more like the highest of the mid range tier parts that you can buy uh, for the money so I mean let's kick off the build with the CPU and we've got the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 and it's clocked at 3.6 gigahertz it's a 6 core processor and 12 threads I believe and it boost clocks to 3.9 gigahertz from what I can remember and it only costs $328 now I didn't choose the 3600X as uh, maybe you guys aren't into overclocking or anything like that but uh, if you guys want to spend uh, I think it's an extra $90 for the 3600X you guys can go ahead and do that or pick something actually higher than this but I personally believe that this CPU is going to do you quite well it's the third gen Ryzen um, and it's quite efficient and mind you I'm only using a 1500X and I do fine streaming and doing all I do on it and uh, well I personally don't play many high-end games but um, or anything like that but I would personally want to upgrade to something like this in the future uh, just because I can take advantage of the efficiency gains um, in terms of uh, video editing and uh, pro programming and stuff like that and uh, I mean programming doesn't really use that much uh, CPU power or other uh, computers doesn't have to be that powerful in general but when you get onto some applications and um, some IDEs they do require a little bit more uh, juice in your computer from what I found so yeah this is gonna do well the Ryzen 5 3600 so let's go over to the motherboard and it's the MSI B450 Tomahawk Max ATX um, it's a B450 motherboard and it's pretty good I've heard it's one of the better B450s and if you're not overclocking um, you should be fine on this motherboard uh, if you're not if you are gonna overclock you're gonna buy a 3600X I'd highly recommend getting an X570 motherboard or X470 the X570 is apparently better for overclocking as well um, but B450, uh, this B450 board is one of the better ones um, and it's a little bit pricey but hey it's gonna do you well it's MSI and that comes in about $246 New Zealand from PB Tech so let's go on to the RAM I'll fix some faster RAM here it's the G Skill Rip Jaws uh, 16 gigs 2 times 8 GB it's 3600 uh, RAM uh, DDR4 so I mean it's gonna it's one, considered one of the sweet spots for Ryzen apparently and um, Ryzen CPUs uh, especially third gen like the 3600 RAM quite a lot and it apparently is quite quick personally I have not tried this I will try this in the future if I get some uh, extra cash <laughs> that I can play around with uh, but yeah it should do you quite well and it's quite quick um, unfortunately this one is only available from Newegg so uh, that's $204 total but I'm sure you can pick something similar up in New Zealand um, we can go check actually in just a second here and uh, we can check for some other types of RAM so I found this other RAM and it's a G Skill Trident Z and it's quite baller RAM it's got RGB and all that garbage on it 
and uh, it's uh, very expensive as compared to this one. It's a whole uh, thirty to fifty dollars more, and uh, it's actually quite expensive. You can buy that from PB Tech for two hundred and fifty bucks. It's out of stock, unfortunately, or Paradium PC for two thirty six. Um, but in uh, if you want to buy it in New Zealand itself, uh, not from the New Egg New Zealand store. Um, then you can go with these guys. It's a wee bit more expensive. Sorry, you're going to have to add that on to the end uh, build. So we can say at $1,850 maybe for this total build. But uh, yeah, uh, 3600 is quite a good speed to aim for sometimes. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go... Uh, no compromises on this guy. So we're heading over to storage. And we've got the 970 EVO plus 250 gig uh, M.2 nvme ssd and this is a solid solid state storage and uh it is a solid drive as well is what i was gonna say and uh you can buy that from about 156 from pc force or 148 from pb tech and uh it's a super quick drive apparently it's one of the fastest consumer drives on the market um i was actually looking at getting one of these it's, it's quite expensive as you can see but these speeds are incredible on this thing and uh it's only 250 gigs but i mean you can store your other things um other games on a external drive uh or a, another internal hard drive or something like that and uh i mean you can put one or one or two of your favorite main main games that you play all the time on this drive and the rest on the others and uh yeah i mean it's just a super fast solid drive it's a samsung 970 evo there's nothing much more to say than that it's a uh, super super quick so let's go over to the graphics card now I might get a little bit of flack for this, but I've gone with the Sapphire Radeon RX 5600 XT 6GB Pulse Edition. And I I personally have a Pulse Edition graphics card, it's a RX 580, and I'm pretty, doing pretty well on it. And uh, this is the new edition graphics card, and uh, the uh, 5600 XT um, competes with the RTX 2060. And um, they're pretty neck and neck in some games, and some games... Uh, this guy actually beats it out, uh, but uh, the RTX 2060 is uh, pretty cool as well, but it's very expensive, and this is a good alternative uh, for all that no compromises. I mean, you're, you're not going to be having any problems on this playing games at 1080p Ultra. Like, it's going to run pretty smooth, almost all the new all the newer games and a lot of the triple a titles uh forget league of legends and stuff and fortnite that's that's gonna crush it, it this thing will literally crush the, those games um from what i can understand and uh yeah that's about 597 or 600 dollars from pb tech and uh yeah i mean it's a solid card i mean you can go second hand hey there's no problem with that but this i was trying to aim this at guys who want to uh get as much performance as they can they don't mind spending a little bit more even though it's not the best price to performance but in terms of raw performance it's it's actually better and uh, maybe they have the bank or the the money to purchase stuff like this those are for those types of consumers i personally wouldn't be able to buy something this it's too expensive in my opinion um yeah i mean secondhand options are also there but but hey uh we'll have our budgets and this one is a bit of an expensive one yeah expensive taste here so uh let's head over to the case case is always subjective hey i thought this one looked cool it had a little bit of uh, cable management in the back here and it's a it's a bit of a funny looking case but i think it's kind of practical and it also has the cage for the power supply to go here uh it's a full atx case uh mid tower case uh, because the motherboard we chose is a mid uh, ATX board, sorry, it's an ATX board, and um, yeah, I think it looks pretty cool with a tempered glass as well. Yeah, you might. Someone mentioned case fans. Yeah, you you're gonna need some maybe some extra case fans. The case fans that come with the case are pretty shoddy, but I don't really include that in the build because that's something you can do yourself, and it's not really that too expensive. Um, it comes in at about a hundred dollars uh, from PB Tech or one hundred and two from Aquila Technology. So let's head over to the power supply at the last part here, and it's the FSP Group Hydro G six fifty watt fully modular power supply. I personally have an SP FSP Hydro, not this edition, a uh, little bit of a lower end, and it's non modular. This one is fully modular. I mean, if you're going full out on your computer 
uh, in terms of uh, what you want in raw performance for this price range at least I think I'd recommend this FSP Group Hydro uh, 650 watt gold certified I, I personally think it probably be quite decent I've seen some good reviews on it as well it's it's pretty nice and it's fully modular so you'll be able to make it nice and cable managed and you can even get custom cables if you want in the future and make it look all cool uh, yeah so that sums up the build so as I told you at the start it comes to $1050 depending on what type of RAM you get and um, right now in New Zealand and uh, apparently shipping is included who knows so um, I mean I'm gonna put in the title 1800 because I'm gonna round it down <laughs> sorry guys um, but Let's just say it's 1850 Okay, I'll put that in the title. That's a fairer option for you guys. Um, so if this is not in your price range, I mean, go check out the best gaming build. Uh, for April, I've got some pretty cool advice there on what to do. And uh, just remember, I didn't realize here, buying CPUs from AliExpress actually incurs GST uh, charges now. So you're going to be paying 15% on all your purchases because the imports into New Zealand are under 1000 So uh, it it kind of outweighs the price of buying these guys, but you guys can weigh it up and see it for yourself if you really want to. Um, but otherwise, just stick to New Zealand for a while. Um, I was going to do this until I realized the GST charge happened, and uh, yeah, I'm a little bit out of the loop. It happened last year in December, but I remember using AliExpress in January, December, January, and they were not forcing it on AliExpress. I knew it was there, of course, but um, it wasn't being enforced at the time, and um, my house got flooded and I've been a little bit out of the loop for a while and I haven't really ordered anything from overseas in ages um, also because of lockdown but uh, mainly because um, the build's been taking a lot of my time up so yeah I mean these guys will set you off pretty well and uh, yeah make sure you go check out Wise Tech Dog again for latest pros reviews and much more and make sure you can check out twitch.tv slash bazito for latest, latest streams hopefully um, I'll be streaming later this month or next month when we get back into the house. But other than that, make sure you guys stay safe and stay healthy, take care of each other. And uh, as we're going into level two, um, hopefully we'll be able to do more stuff. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.